we are going to see a FOMC statement at 2 a.m. Um, tomorrow, May 4th. So we'll listen to the announcement. At the same time, uh, I would like to highlight BTC for today. Yesterday, BTC came up pump and uh, USD came down. However, SPX US 500 came down together as well. The only uh, area that pump is uh, BTC and gold. Gold also pump yesterday. So I would like to bring to the attention of uh, the bank, the bank issue. Okay. The bank issue this time is uh, a few regional bank. You can watch them from uh, Yahoo. So let me play some of the information here. Guys, and new details are surfacing about this deal. JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon and CFO Jeremy Barnum were on a media call this morning. Barnum pointing out that JP Morgan did not seek out the deal, but it does have a benefit for the bank. Now, JP Morgan acquired about $173 billion of personal public loans. 30 billion of securities and 92 billion in deposits. The FDIC, the agency which insures depositors, agreed to share losses on certain residential and commercial loans, giving JP Morgan the protection if those assets go bad. Now, the executive also pointed out that the bidding process over the weekend was competitive. Here's what Jamie Diamond, chairman and CEO of JP Morgan, has to say. Potentially, I'm looking at BTC. Uh, I believe that <clears throat> during the FOMC meeting, um, it will go up and down. Currently, I don't have uh, any position. Um, I will only start my position after the FOMC meeting. I'm just observing right now, uh, taking a rest until FOMC. And the reason why I uh, don't have any position right now is because uh, I believe during the meeting, a lot of uh, this uh, position will be stop out. So if you set your stop loss uh, very close to the current price, um, easily your position will be stop out. And that is the reason why I do not uh, use, uh, I don't have any position right now. And I will start my new position after FOMC. That's all I would like to share. Thank you. Bye.